that's all my makeup I've just collected to the side and uh, I'll have to sort that out Georgi Oot Georgi Oot Jhadu Maan Hai Georgi Oot Na Oot Ja Georgi Georgi Good boy Georgi Oot Jhadu Maan Hai Georgi 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 Chilo Utho Georgi Come on good boy Come on Georgi Utho Utho Not letting me sweep. So I'm gonna keep the camera down now and sweep properly. It's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll have to sweep this room later because now if I do that, I'll have to switch off the fan. Can you see that head popping from there? That's Duke. And what he is going to do is going to make a lot of noise if I get that jhadu anywhere close to him. Which will wake up my husband. And I don't want to do that. That's his stalker pose. Stalker. Okay, so it is time for me to mop the floor. Today I'm going to be using Dettol. This is a disinfectant liquid which I did not know existed. Lime Fresh. Uh, my husband told me about it and had i known about it this is all i would be using i also use that other phenyl uh, this i use sparingly luckily i had got it before lockdown still have that much and uh, yeah <sighs> i'm gonna put a cap full of that oh washing uh, the rice for my georgie and duke and uh, we're just thinking this is how my nail polish looks after two days <laughs> and that's why I don't put so much of it because um, not that I'm lazy but I'm getting out of acetone now and uh, I rather not have any polish than have polish looking like this. That was a nice color. I think that was a color bar. <laughs> and oh, I don't mean to say that the nail polish is bad. I just want to say that, uh, I mean I had a Sally Hansen some days ago and the same thing happened it's about the work we do the right hand is more uh, worst than the left let me see if I can show that to you see this is a bit better <laughs> oh my gosh so that is set to cook and I'll just keep all these buttons. I mean, that is the one thing I get so bored to do. I don't mind washing the vessels, but I do not like to keep the button. I don't know. Like, I don't mind washing the clothes, but keep it, going to hang them. Hang them. That sounded good. Uh, hang them to dry outside. That is another boring work. I, I get bored. I mean, I'm human being. I get bored. I can get bored, right? What bores you? I mean... Uh, like what are what is your thing or what is not your thing it doesn't mean I don't do it it just means I am bored to do it I just get bored it's not like I don't do it <laughs> okay so I'm making some Maggie it's early evening right now I don't know what time it is um and I'm making Maggie and uh, look at this like i have to clean this at least three times a day no matter what i do i i keep the gas on low i'll keep it on medium i keep it on high but this ends up happening it keeps overflowing and now i have to clean it and i'm really feeling grumbly today and venting out i'm sorry i guess i should make some bread that helps me calm down a bit once I clean this because I cannot make bread with this in my mind <sighs> all done now I can bake my bread so before I make this bread I'm going to get this yeast going because my yeast ka dabba was open in my cooler and I don't know if this is going to work so first I'm going to try blooming the yeast and if the water is looking uh, brown that's because it's got uh, a 
a tablespoon of honey in it there is no sugar left in the house i'll get that by the evening hopefully this is one and a half teaspoon of yeast and i'm going to just mix that in cover it and keep it and see if it blooms if it blooms then i'll make the bread otherwise that plan goes oh here it is not in the center who cares anyways yeah so here it is i'm going to cover it and keep it around 10 minutes the water is lukewarm and i'm going to close the tabba tight and then keep it back i'm just going to cover this and keep this for some time most forgot about the maggi why do i keep saying maggi it's smith and jones it's done just spreading that out so it cools this is not for me by the way this is for my husband i think i mentioned that didn't i i'm having a glass of water it's really cool hot <laughs> Duke stop barking. That's around ten. Minutes. Duke stop barking, and this has bloomed, which means our bread plan moves on. <laughs> All set. Just I'm going to get that down to zero, so that uh, we have. Ah, uh, uh, I need to add a hand. that's gone to zero uh, I need 500 on that should be around 500 hmm. I do have a digital uh, weighing scale as well but this is so cute I just love this I just bought it because it was so cute actually hmm. okay so now I'm going to add uh, salt to this and uh, mix it well now this recipe i have learned from the bread kitchen and um, i don't know if i can pronounce her name properly but i found it very interesting this particular bread that titli nathan was making pretty interesting so i decided to give that um, a try so now i'm going to put this right in the scent i made a well in the center and i'm going to put that into it okay i needed a wider uh, bowl for this i guess and uh, we're going to start to mix it right in the center being careful not to use like get it in the middle and Get it in the center and mix this like a, it should get like a porridge consistency. Like I know how to make basic bread, but then making different kinds of breads is fun. Okay, I'm focusing on this. Okay, so this is like kind of become like porridgey. And now, what she did next is to flick the bread, just uh, the dough, sorry, just to cover this. And then she covered that and kept it aside. So that's what I'm also going to be doing okay so it's about 20 minutes now and you can see these cracks that happens now this is called the sponging method as explained by titli i hope i'm pronouncing the name right i'm so sorry if i'm not but this adds to the taste and texture this method i've never tried this method this is the first time i'm making bread like this i need like tons of bread but this is the first time i'm making bread like this and i was talking so much so that this tablespoon of milk four tablespoons of milk becomes 
a little bit lukewarm it was really hot so I'm going to add that to this and now I'm going to mix this I don't know did I mention that this method which I did earlier is called sponging so uh, this is going to be kind of sticky dough okay so i decided to go into a voiceover because i needed the fan on and it was really very really hot in the kitchen and now i'm just flowering the surface of the work place where i'm going to knead the dough and i'm going to remove that dough with the help of the scraper um, the scraper is very handy got it from aliexpress <laughs> and then i'm going to knead now this is my time this is the time this is the part i love so much and that's why i love these breads because you can just knead it with your hand and you can get fantastic bread at home you don't need any machine and i'm going to knead this i took 20 minutes i was having my own thought process adding some oil to it in kneading it till it becomes really nice and smooth like this after which I'm going to um, oil the surface, uh, oil the surface, oil uh, the vessel in which I'm going to uh, keep the dough to raise and I'm going to tuck that dough in, cover it with um, uh, that saline wrap, is that what you call it? Yeah. And then I'm going to put it in uh, my oven. I'll keep the oven door open. That way the light stays on and there is some warmth not that there is any uh, scarcity of heat right now but okay yeah. so less than an hour later this is how our bread this is how our bread is looking so i am going to flour the surface again and get the bread out like so okay look at how pretty it is looking hmm so now I'm going to use my hands to sort of see the size of my baking tin. I'm sorry for the shadows, the light placement is not great, and uh, yeah, so. And I'm going to just roll that in like that. Sticking. And then I'm going to just fold it in there. And then I'm going to use that same cover because I did not want to waste. And this is the second proofing it's going to go in for the same way as I had shown you earlier. I almost forgot I had to make alu shimla mirch bhaji. That much lal mirchi, that much dhania, that much haldi, that much salt, 
And then I'm going to give it a good stir. Cover it and cook it. Uh, the less masala that I add into bhaji, the tastier it is. And yeah, I'll cover that and put this. Fun. This is good stuff. Should have oiled it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not supposed to stick. I should have oiled that. Oh my goodness. Uh, never mind. Uh. Um, anyways, uh, so now I'm going to use this to kind of oh no anyways i'm going to use this to kind of slit this in the center i guess i allowed it too much time just so that it will help to expand the bread more uh, we are going to have a designed bread, but nonetheless, it's going to be tasty. That I know. So this goes into the oven for 200 degrees and for 10 minutes or till it's done. Alrighty, our bread is ready. And uh, look at this tiny one also <laughs> ready. I'm going to just uh, dip this in butter. In. This has become hard. Uh, yeah. Just look at this bread, will you? Ah, uh, it's delicious. Hmm. Can you hear them? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing like homemade bread. Nothing. 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 Good night.